Hi guys, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. If you're new to my channel, my name's Selena and I release a crochet tutorial weekly. So today I wanted to bring to you this really feminine and lacy poncho. It's really easy to make. You can download the free PDF pattern from my blog selenaveronique.com and there will also be plenty of pictures so you can see exactly what it looks like. So it's got this really lacy and feminine vibe, I love it. I have written sizes S, M, L and XL so again just download the pattern to get your size. And I will be um, showing you this pattern step by step for size S. And it has like a bit of a V shape or you can wear it whichever way you want. I know I like wearing my ponchos like this. And I'll be showcasing some pictures on my Instagram and obviously all my um, social media platforms and obviously my blog. So anyways, I'm just going to jump right into this tutorial and for this tutorial you will be needing a 4mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle and I have also used three skeins of Stylecraft Special Decay in shade Candy Floss. So I will be linking that in the down bar also on my blog so just check all that out. In the description box. So um, this is so Stylecraft Special DK is a DK yarn in UK terms, and in American terms, it's considered a light three yarn in a hundred percent acrylic. So you can substitute it very easily. This um, pattern calls for substitutions very easily. So don't worry about that if it's the same weight of yarn. So again, I'll be writing all of this down in the description box. And I will be using US terms. So just for your information, this pattern uses a multiple of 12 stitches plus 11 plus one for your base chain. So just go ahead and make a slip knot. Pop your hook through the slip knot and tighten. And just for your information, for um, the poncho, we will be making size S, and um, you will find all the other sizes on my blog and my free pattern. So for size S, we will be chaining 72. So just go ahead and chain 72. So one, two, so once you've chained your 72 stitches, we are simply going to be single crocheting into the second chain from the hook. So just count one and two and just single crochet into the second chain. So once you've done that, you are just going to chain five. One, two, three, four and five. Skip three chains, so count one, two, and three. Skip those and go into the fourth and single crochet into that stitch. So just go ahead and single crochet into that chain. Um, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Skip three stitches, so one, two, and three, go into the fourth and place a single crochet into that. Just go ahead and single crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Skip three chains, one, two, and three, and go into the fourth. And just carry on doing this until the last two chains, and I will show you what to do then. So here we go, I've um, done this until the end of my chain, and I've reached, like I said, the last two chains 
right here. So for that um, part of the project, you are just simply going to chain two. So one and two. So you've chained two and you are simply going to place a double crochet. So you're just gonna skip this stitch right here, the next stitch, go into the second and which is also your last and just place a double crochet into this last chain. So to make your double crochet, you are simply gonna wrap your yarn around your hook, go into the chain, take your yarn, pull it through. You've got um, three loops on your hook. Take your yarn, pull through two loops and take your yarn and pull through two loops. And for um, row two, we are simply going to um, chain one, so chain one, turn your work like this, and we are just simply going to single crochet into that same stitch. So just go into the first um, stitch right here and place a single crochet. There you go. And what we are going to be doing now is skipping this space right here, so you're just gonna skip that, and go into our first five chain arc. So just go directly into this, and you are simply going to be placing seven double crochets directly into this space. So if you need more help on how to double crochet, I will be linking my video on how to double crochet in this description box. So just go ahead and wrap your yarn around your hook, go into the space, take your yarn, pull through, you've got three loops on your hook, take your yarn, pull through two loops, take your yarn and pull through two loops. And this has created your first double crochet inside that chain arc. So just go ahead and place another six double crochets into this space. And this is what it should look like. So now we are simply going to be going directly into the next arc and we are simply going to single crochet directly into that just to anchor our project down. There you go. You are going to chain five. One, two, three, four and five. And go directly into the next chain arc here. So just go ahead and place a single crochet into that to anchor your project down. And this is what it should look like. So once you've done that, you are simply going to go directly into the next chain arc. So this is what we've worked into those two. And now we're simply gonna go into the next one here and place seven double crochets into that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've placed my seven double crochets into that chain arc. And what we're going to do is the exact same, is go directly into the next, anchor it down with just a simple single crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Go into the next chain arc and place a single crochet into that just to anchor your project down. So this is what it should look like for now. I'm just going to show you slowly. And now that we've done this, we are again simply going to go into the next arc, chain arc, and place seven double crochets into that. Just carry on with this pattern. So you are simply gonna place seven double crochets into that arc, go into the next chain arc, anchor it down, chain five, anchor it down with a single crochet, 
go into the next, place seven double crochets into that, go into the next, anchor it down with a single crochet, chain five, and single crochet into the next, go into the next chain arc and place seven double crochets, and so on and so forth. So there we go, I've almost finished this row, so I'll be finishing it with you. And this is how it looks. So it's absolutely gorgeous, I absolutely adore it. So I've just um, done my cluster of seven double crochets in this space, and I've just got this um, space left. So what I'm going to do is um, anchor it down with a single crochet, now I will simply be chaining two, one and two. So we are simply going to be placing a um, treble crochet into this single crochet from the previous row right here. So to treble you are simply going to wrap your yarn around your hook twice, like so. Go into this um, stitch, this single crochet from the previous row, pop your hook through, take your yarn, pull through, and you should have actually four loops on your hook. Take your yarn, pull through two loops, take your yarn, pull through two loops, take your yarn, and pull through two loops. And this is your treble crochet at the end of this row. So now I'm going to show you row three. So for row three we are going to chain one and we are going to place a single crochet into that stitch here. Single crochet. So once we've done that we are simply going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. We are going to be um, counting one and two double crochets from um, the cluster from the previous row. So don't count this stitch, which is part of the arc from the previous row. You have to count the double crochets from the um, cluster. So one and two and go into that second stitch like so and place a single crochet into that. So just go ahead, place your single crochet into that. Chain five, one, two, three, four and five. And we're going to go into the six double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And place a single crochet into that. Like this. Now we are simply going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Go into that arc here from the previous row. So just skip the end of that fan and go into this arc directly. So, and place a single crochet into this. There we go. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And count one and two from the fans from the previous row and go into that second double crochet from the previous row and place a single crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four and five and go into the sixth, so one, two, three, four, five and six right here and we are simply going to be chaining five, one, two, three, four and five and we are just going to go directly into the arc, the next arc from the previous row and place a single crochet into that. Chain five, one, two, 
three, four and five. And once again, we are simply going to count one and two um, double crochets from the fan from the previous row and pop a single crochet into that. Chain five, one, two, three, four and five. Count into the six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And basically just carry on doing that. So um, I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. And basically you're just gonna carry on this pattern, chaining five, um, going into the next arc right here, chaining five, going into um, the second double crochet from the fan, chain five, go into the sixth one, chain five, anchor it down with a single crochet into that arc, chain five, go into the second double crochet, chain five, go into the sixth double crochet, and so on until the end of this row. So I've almost finished my row and I've placed my um, single crochet into the six um, double crochet from the previous fan and I've still got this row to finish. So to finish this row I'm simply going to chain two, one and two and I'm going to make a treble crochet into the treble crochet from um, this previous row. So just go ahead and wrap your yarn around your hook twice, go into the stitch like so, pull up a loop, go through two, go through two, and go through two. And this is what it should look like. So it's really lovely, it's really simple. And from now, the rows are simply going to be a repeat of row two and row three. So that's why it's such an easy pattern. And that's why you have to hang in there because it really is um, a very repetitive pattern once you get the hang of it. So I'm back and I've just completed my two sides for my poncho. So I personally think they look amazing. So you should have your two sides and I've already prepared my poncho to be sewed. So I'm just gonna walk you through it. So basically you'll notice when you finish your um, stitch that you will have what is called a right side and a wrong side. So basically the right side is the side that's going to be shown to the world, if that makes any sense. And the wrong side will be the inside of the garment. So I hope this does make sense. So basically for this pattern it's very easy to see which is the wrong side and the right side. Basically the right side will be the side that curves out um, so it's really easy to um, tell which is the wrong side and the right side for this stitch so don't worry even as you build up your stitch as you go along you will notice that there'll be a side that is just really flat and that's the wrong side and then you'll notice that there's a gorgeous side that curves out and that's the right side. So that's my explanation for the wrong side and the right side. I do hope it makes sense. So what we are going to be doing now, the next step is to sew in this poncho. So to sew this poncho, we are just gonna lay it out in an L shape. So you've laid this one down so that the right side is facing us. And you are simply going to pop this um, panel over and you will pop over this panel so that the right side is facing the right side of this panel. So this is what it looks like at first before we start sewing. So it's an L and what we are going to be doing is just taking this um, panel 
right here, the one underneath, and we are simply going to place it like this. So as you can see, our poncho is going to start looking like a proper poncho. And what we will do after is just do that like this. And this will be our poncho. So we will be sewing this side and we will be sewing um, this side underneath, if that makes sense, this seam right here. Basically, you don't need to worry about this part yet. What we are going to be doing is starting to sew this part. So once you've placed it in your L shape, you are simply just going to pull this like that. And we are just going to just place it any um, place that is easier for you to sew once you've determined um, the exact spot you are going to be sewing. And we are just going to be sewing this seam. So I've just zoomed in just to show you how I'm going to sew this. So I've popped my needle through the thread and I'm just, so as you notice, you've got one straight edge here and then you've got a um, shell edge here, but that doesn't matter. We are still going to sew them together. And basically, um, as best you can, obviously this is the wrong side, so the seam won't be noticeable once you turn your poncho inside out. So basically, you're just going to go, so I'm going to use the mattress stitch. You can, however, use whatever stitch you prefer. And you are just going to go into that side, and then you're just going to go into the other side. And you are just going to go back and forth um, in this sewing, just so that it looks um, as nice as possible. So I'm just going to let you carry on doing this um, until you reach um, the end of um, the panel. So here we are, and I've just finished sewing my... Um, my two sides together. This is still my wrong side and what I'm going to do is just, um, so this is where we've just stitched and now we are simply going to flip this like that and I'm just going to flip this over just so that I can stitch it in if that makes any sense. So this is what I have. So obviously we are going to be um, placing this nice and neat. So I'll just let you place this um, so that this side is nice and straight. And this side here is also nice and straight. So just work with that. I'm just going to put these two angles together and I'm going to sew this side in like I showed you on um, the other side that we just sewed in. This is um, the bottom of your poncho which is the V and this is the top of uh, your poncho which is the neckline. So we are simply going to attach our yarn, take your 4mm crochet hook and we are just simply going to place a row of single crochets on this neckline. So you are simply going to take your yarn and you are going to be, so this is my seam and I'm just going to place, I'm going to, I found this spot here and it's just a random um, stitch and I'm just going to pull my yarn through. So I've just tied in my yarn and I'm just going to pop my hook through, through, take my yarn, pull it through and chain one. And I'm just going to go around this neck edging. So I'm just going to go into that next stitch and place a single crochet into that. So we are just going to be placing single crochets all around. And basically, um, you are going to be placing a single crochet, not into every stitch, because obviously this um, neckline isn't, like you don't have visible stitches, if that makes sense. And basically, my advice to you is to not put too many, if that makes any sense. So try and place them um, not too far apart, 
but don't put too many because it is the neck edging and you don't want it to be large if that makes any sense you would rather have it a bit tightened just so that your um, outfit looks a bit put together so I'm just gonna let you pop your single crochets all around your neckline and I'll get back to you once I've um, reached um, the original chain one so I've gone around um, with my single crochets all around the collar neckline and I've just placed my last single crochet and I'm just going to go into the first chain that I made so just go into that chain pop your hook through take your yarn we're going to make a slip stitch pull it through and pull through again and this is um, what it's going to look like and what you are going to be doing is snipping off your yarn so I'm just going to leave a long tail to sew in my loose end and I'm just going to take this yarn and pull it through again that loop to create a knot and so there we go we've got our gorgeous poncho so there we are we've got our lovely poncho it's absolutely gorgeous I'll be posting a lot of pictures on my blog and yes yeah, so thank you so much for watching and it really means the, the world to me don't forget to subscribe if you want a new crochet tutorial every week and yeah thanks for watching bye bye mm -hmm.